Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to focus on Facebook Live and how it caters to the specific needs of nonprofits like yours. Also, we're going to focus on how to use it in your next event. We'll be referencing an article that we recently published, and I'll put the link in the description of this video down below. Fundraising has been particularly difficult lately due to the restrictions on public gatherings. This is why remote live platforms have become even more important than ever. Before we look into how to help your event to be successful with Facebook Live, be sure that you subscribe to our channel and go ahead and click the bell for notifications so that you won't miss out on educational videos about fundraising, donor management, fund accounting, and more. Let's go ahead and jump right in. In this video, we're going to talk about things to do before, during, and after your event. Before the event, make sure that your space is set up. Make sure that your camera frame represents the shot that you're looking for. Also, you want to make sure that your lighting and your audio quality, internet connection and things like that are all ready to go as soon as you're ready to go live. That's a big, big step to make sure that you test all of that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to let people know about the event in advance. And you can use email marketing, you can use social media, word of mouth. The bottom line is that you've got to equip the people that you're wanting to talk about your event for you and with you. You got to equip them. You got to send them a little bit of information about the event, um, what you're going to be covering in your event, and even maybe some graphics or something like that they can put on their social media channel. Don't forget that you also need to strategize about following up with the attendees of your event. How are you going to nurture them? Do you know what nurturing even is? In other words, how are you going to engage them? And ultimately, what do you want them to actually do? Do you want them to follow? Do you want them to subscribe? Do you want them to donate, volunteer? You've got to know some strategy before your Facebook Live event and make sure that you've got that clear right from the start. Okay, so let's talk about what to do the day of the event. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a description to the event before going live. We want to be creative. Use the keywords that your audience is going to look for when they're trying to type in and find your event. When you're going live, don't forget to introduce yourself several times throughout the event. In the case that someone was late to join your event. After all, you want to meet the host of a party or get together that you're attending, right? The next thing that you're going to do is to make sure to interact with your audience through their live comments. If you have an assistant, it would be really ideal for them to be a part of it so that way the host of the video can focus on answering the questions or elaborate on people's comments that they're being provided by the assistant as you guys go through the live event. Okay, so now your event has been completed. Do you remember the strategy that we talked about when you were thinking about setting up your event? This is where you're going to execute that strategy. The first thing you're going to do is store all the contact information from all the attendees in your database. The next thing that you're going to do is contact the participants and make sure that you thank them for being part of the event. Did you do a fundraiser? And if so, you want to thank the donors for their support. That's a big part of it. And then finally, you want to give people a clear action of what you want them to do. Do you want them to follow you? Do you want them to subscribe? Do you want them to donate, volunteer? Make sure that in your follow-up and in your engagement, you make sure that you let them know what the next steps are. Well, this has just been a quick recap of the recent article that we just published in Aplos Academy. You can access the full article by clicking the link down below. Academy is a collection of free learning resources created by Aplos. If you're in search of a powerful yet simple to use software that can help you with fund accounting, donor management, fundraising, hey, you need to check out our special offer by using the link down below. If you enjoy our content, please like this video. There are many other nonprofits like yours that are trying to plan Facebook Live fundraising events in the near future. By liking this video, YouTube will recommend it to other nonprofits like yours. Thanks for watching.